Each month, Annie and I host a deeper dive, which is a live Q&A with an expert in the field of lactation, business, or personal development. The following snippet is from our most recent deeper dive. We hope you enjoy. What would you say are like the things, the kind of top level things that as IBCLCs, we need to know about allergies? Oh my goodness. Well, that is a loaded question. So everything, you need to know everything. No, I'm just kidding. The probably biggest thing that I would say is first being able to identify signs and symptoms and knowing the difference between the different conditions and how those symptoms can appear. And specifically, I see this will come up a lot around eczema. And I actually, Annie, I feel like you and I have had this conversation before, but eczema is actually an autoimmune condition and it's going to wax and wane. It's not a food allergy necessarily. So just like for that, the common misconceptions, knowing the distinct signs and symptoms, knowing which conditions overlap with signs and symptoms so that you can, especially because as an IBCLC, you're seeing the baby you're seeing, get to see them naked a lot of the time, like for weights, a lot of times being given lots of pictures of poop, which I end up having parents also send me like, hey, if you snap a photo, it'd be good to send it over. But the infant side as a dietitian, it's just, you do, you can't do everything, right? So knowing how those things present, knowing what the signs and symptoms for the baby are, and we go over that more thoroughly in the course, what that, what that looks like. And then keeping track of how you're seeing the baby change after, you know, my plan intervention is given because you're there to check in on how is lactation going? How is milk supply? Uh, how is the baby in comparison to what a baby's behavior is within a normal range? A lot of the time, these families are become very reasonably so focused on they're looking at every single thing. And now normal baby behavior can sometimes be alarming to them. They're very nervous. So also having another objective set of eyes looking at the whole lactation picture to be able to kind of talk back and forth of, is this a concern or is this maybe just like if we went out to eat one day and had like a not happy stomach later that day, was this a one-time thing? If you enjoyed that snippet, the good news is that deeper dive was recorded. And by joining our membership community, you can have access to that deeper dive as well as our entire vault of deeper dives going back through 2020. You will also be automatically invited to our live monthly deeper dives. So you can ask the experts directly all the questions you want to know about that topic. We look forward to seeing you at our next deeper dive.